Good morning, everybody. So yesterday in the morning, I released a YouTube video um, about seven SEO hacks. Um, and the video went over really well. We got a ton of views to it on the first day. Uh, but I talked about the buffet title and I just totally bonked on explaining what exactly it is. So um, the reason is I didn't want to give away any of our good articles on our sites. And so I didn't have good examples to use. But for you guys, you guys always get to see the, the good stuff. So let me tell you exactly about the buffet title because it's a technique that's just killing it for us right now. So let me show you kind of how it works. So we're in Ahrefs, a keyword tool. Okay, we've talked about keyword tools, whatever. The data is usually very, very off. Um, but we can at least get a rough idea. I just searched cats. And as you look through some of the top keywords, and again, okay, they're not exactly gonna be perfect, but you can see here pretty clearly, oh, Ricky's here. Ricky will come on in. <laughs> um, you can at least see some of the main keywords here. So one of the top keywords is cat breeds. Um, and so how do you target that kind of keyword? It's, it's too general. When somebody search, searches cat breeds, they could want a number, you can come on in Ricky. We're just vlogging for Project 24, so come right in. <laughs> um, so it's, Okay, so cat breeds. So if I just search, I'm telling them about the buffet title from yesterday's post. See, oh, here's yeah, my yeah. oatmeal, you guys. This is <laughs> this is very. Okay, so if I just d search something like cat breeds, the problem is I could want a lot of different things. And the cool thing is Google tells me what I probably want. You know, you may be searching the most popular cat breed, the friendliest, how many are there, what's a normal cat breed, like just <laughs> cat, what's it called? Um, so you can see that some of these very general searches get huge search volume and Google isn't quite sure what people want. And so what articles does it put at the top? Well, just like, here's just a, ton of cat breeds listed on yeah. Purina. Um, it, it's just not quite sure what to give them. And that's where we created the buffet title. Um, the, the purpose is that you say, okay, cat breeds, and then you have a little parenthetical where you just give them a few of the things in there. It's like a primer to all of those things you could want. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So like here are a couple examples. So one of the massive keyword on snake owner um, is just like deadly snakes or dangerous snakes. Yep. And it's like, what do you want? What do you want when you just search deadly snakes? And it's probably kids who just... They want to see... They want to see some freaky pictures and yes. like, hear some crazy stories. And yeah. Exactly. They, they may be doing a, a research project for, you know, a, a report for school mm -hmm. or something and need a little bit of information. But... They just want to know what, you know, like if, if, if somebody gets bit, like, are they going to die? Mm -hmm. How long do they have till they die? They want like, all the gruesome they want details. All that. Yeah. And so if I just got one aspect of it, so if I search something like deadly snake or venomous snake, if I only told you which was the most deadly snake, but you didn't get the pictures or I said, you know, what causes the most deaths, but you didn't get all the cool facts of the venomous ones. See, I'm, I'm hitting all kinds of specific things that kind of fit in here, but somebody searched something so general that we don't know what they want. Anyway, so that's the purpose of, the, of this, is I just say the most dangerous snake in the world with bite facts and pictures. Um, that parenthetical kind of just grabs different aspects of what somebody could have wanted in that general. Or somebody just searches Sugar gliders. It's yeah. like, okay. Yeah. Um, or, or, or pet sugar gliders. Yes, and that was what we were targeting here, is yeah. pet sugar gliders. It's like, okay, what do you want though, people? Uh -huh. um, and so this is like a primer. Sugar gliders as pets, cost to buy, legalities, dangers, and more info. The more info I wish I wouldn't have written because it's like, uh, okay, what info? Yeah, what more info? Um, but it, I think it should have just been sugar gliders as pets, cost to buy, legalities, and dangers. 
Um, those like, and how did we get those? Well, I'll show you exactly how we got them. It's when I Google this and I look um, at, well, okay. Okay, yeah, like legalities right here. Are they affectionate, etc. Like that's where I'm getting the information is I'm just Googling it and seeing what stuff they want and putting it in the buffet title. Now, I gave a terrible example on the YouTube video yesterday because I said like kittens and then I said the parenthetical, that's gonna start to look like keyword stuffing. You know, if you just have kittens, cost, pictures, da da da, that's gonna start looking like if it's just a bunch of commas, that's gonna start looking, my driver's yeah, license is expiring, thought everybody would <laughs> wanna know. Um, so yeah, you gotta be careful with keyword yeah. stuffing. You wanna have a good solid title here, but then just as a parenthetical, we're including the buffet. You just wanna make it clear to people when they see this in the search result, what they're gonna get. Mm -hmm. Because when somebody does do a search, sugar gliders as pets or, you know, kittens, they, they're gonna get this whole like list of search results that may or may not have anything to do with what they want. Mm -hmm. And if the headlines are all just as general as their search term was, they're gonna get annoyed having to search through all these. And if you just have a nice buffet title, that makes it clear what yours is about. If it happens to be what they were searching for, your article gets the click. Yep, exactly. So that is the buffet title. Uh, it's it's really killing it. As I look through our analytics, like we have a lot of articles that are doing really well on this uh, with this uh, technique. So definitely one I think you should do um, when you're targeting those just very broad keywords uh, that you aren't quite sure what to do with. One more thing I want to make sure you guys see because it's going out to our broader audience um, to YouTube and I wanna make sure you guys have a chance to see it first. This is our four day immersion program. So check it out, go to incomeschool.com slash immersion. Um, it's there but it's not posted publicly on the website. Um, this is for our four day in Boise, yep. working directly with us. We're gonna just get your website going in the right direction. Um, we want you to have, I said finish the 60 steps, at least make significant progress on the 60 steps before coming to this, because uh, we want you to have a good foundation. You know, when yep. we're doing your SEO audit and stuff, we want you to have enough articles to actually dive into and everything like that. So if that's something that's interesting to you, um, come check it out. It's the first one that we've ever done. Uh, we're really, really excited about it. You can cool. see the agenda here. Um, like my, I had my wife kind of proof, proofread everything here before <laughs> I put it up and she's like, wow, I want to attend this thing. <laughs> anyway, we're pretty excited about it, so check it out, incomeschool.com slash immersion. Hopefully you can join us and let us work on your site with you.